all right what's up everybody back today with another video we got another knife review on the channel and as you can see we have got another zero tolerance um been on a zt kick lately and i'm digging it i got this one um and then i've got another one on the way already and i'll talk more about how that happened here in a second but today we got the 707 and cpm 20 cv y'all already know what comes in the box so let's look at the knife Man, that carbon fiber is absolutely beautiful. ZT carbon fiber, one of my favorites. Uh, you can see the machining up there uh, with a little bit of texture on it. See how they machine that? I really like that. Um, you've got it on the front side here too. Let's give it a flick. Very smooth knife. Um, give you a look at the blade here. This is a pretty long knife overall. It's pretty thin. Uh, pretty much every other way, um, but lengthwise it is a pretty long knife. As you can see, I've got the pocket clip over on the left side here, um, and this does have obviously a reversible clip. It doesn't look like it to start with, and I'll talk more about how I did that here in a second, um, because there's not a ton of reviews out there on this knife. There's a decent amount. Um, there's not as much, many as other knives. It's a fairly new knife. It's only about a year old as of right now. Um, December of 2021 um, this was a 2020 release um, so also you've got carbon fiber you've got your titanium on the other side this is a frame lock knife uh, pretty cool pivot system here and then of course CPM 20 CV blade um, zero tolerance uh, uses this on most of their knives now um, and I love it. I'm a 20 CV fan. I've always liked M390 um, 20 CV pretty much Pretty much the uh, I don't want to say pretty much the same still but very similar still um, So yeah I've had this uh, maybe close to a week now um, and I had actually ordered the ZT the 0452 uh, Carbon fiber the 0452 the big knife um and it got here is from dlt trading um and i love dlt trading and it got here and it had a chip in the blade it wasn't huge but it was noticeable um i know for some people it's not a big deal and i could have sharpened it out but i had <clears throat> but i prefer getting the use out of the factory edge uh, before sharpening my knives. I mean, they come pretty freaking sharp from ZT. And, uh, you know, I paid for a brand new knife. I paid a premium for it. It's an older style knife. It's been out for a while. Um, so I, you know, called DLT right then. They were pretty understanding. I sent them pictures and I sent the knife back. Um, and I thought we were going to do a return, um, but the return didn't happen. And I kept checking, kept checking, and then I got on there last night, and I realized I had $280 in store credit. Um, so the knife was $260. I've used $34 in store credit. And I had like an extra $20 in store credit myself. Um, so they refunded all of my store credit from the $260, and then gave me, and then my $19 I had in points. Um, those points, man. They had a quite about like fifty dollars in uh, just points redemption money uh, through DLT. Um, so ended up two hundred eighty dollars, uh, which I bought this knife while I was waiting on that refund because I was expecting the refund. So I just went ahead and bought this knife, and that's why it's here. So now that I got that store credit instead of a refund, I was like, you know what? Merry Christmas to me. I got the ZT0470, the 470 on the way. Uh, really cool knife as well. Um, it's got the marble carbon fiber, uh, something a little different. But anyways, back to this knife. You can see, got your back spacers here. Um, but yeah, that's how I ended up with this and why I got this knife. Uh, it's just something a little different. Um, and now this has their tuned detent system. And what that is, you know, on most frame locks, um, like on my 0562 carbon fiber, if you put any pressure at all on this lock bar, absolutely, well, I didn't put too much. If you put any pressure at all, you absolutely cannot deploy the knife. 
um, as soon as you let off, boom. Um, and that's because the detent is in your lock bar, and if you put pressure on that, it does not allow the knife to open. As soon as you don't put pressure on it, it works as it should. Not a big deal for most knife enthusiasts. We learned to grab around that. Um, but on this, you know, it's fine on that knife and like on your 308, it's the same way. But these big knives, it's kind of easy to grab around. Um, on this small thin knife, uh, when you're grabbing it to deploy it, you don't have many other spaces. So you've got your detent here, but you've got a detent on the other side as well. And it's kind of cool how it works. Um, if you press on this side, it's got it's like it's got a little bit of give on the other side. Um, so pretty much you can put as much pressure as you want on your lock bar and the knife will still pull it. You can feel it. Um, you can kind of feel that that pressure's there, um, but it'll still deploy. Now the downside to that is, you know, uh, like this knife, you open it and you go to close it and it just it drops shut, right? This one's really drop shut. See, just drop shut. Um, you don't get that with this knife. So I've, I've pressed the lock bar and it falls. Um, so pretty much got to shake it fairly hard. Um, because it's got that other detent that's pressing against the blade constantly. Um, so that's the only downside. If that's a deal breaker for you, to understand that, this isn't the knife for you. Um, but for me, I was like, you know, an EDC knife, I don't love that. I said, but I think I can work my way around it. Um, this knife is $268, by the way, so it's on the higher end. Um, very thin knife. It's got very thin blade stock, but it's also very slicey. Got a piece of paper. It came sharp, but it didn't come as sharp as some of my other ZTs. But I'll show you here. I mean, it still came really sharp. I don't know why. But it's just not that scary sharp you get from Zero Um Like my 308, for this being such a big knife, but it's still, I mean, it just glides through the paper. Of course, I messed that up. And then my 0562, of course, it's uh, pretty much a razor blade. Um, as soon as I say anything, I mess the paper up. But uh, trying to do it through the camera is a good trick. But I promise you, uh, those two sliced paper, like absolute butter. Every time I do a cut test on the phone, man, while I'm taking a video, I mess it up. That's just how, how it goes, huh? Okay, so we'll do a few quick size comparisons here. I'm going to go ahead and hold the camera, a.k.a. my phone. Um, so here we have the 990. I'm going to do my zero tolerance knives first. Uh, the 562 carbon fiber. You see that? So this is a long knife overall. Uh, it's about the same length as that 562. we got the 308 now. I'm just doing zero tolerances. Okay, now we'll do some carry comparisons to the pair of three. Sorry for the horrible camera work here. I'm a, I'm a talk on the stand type of guy. So you can see compared to the pair of three. Now in pocket fill, um, is something you really gotta take into consideration here because this is a very thin knife all around. Um, Bug out. There's a good comparison. As you can see, it's a lot longer. Um, but as far as like your clothes length, do a comparison on that real quick. So if you if you go off, off the closed length here, hardly any difference. And this definitely has a smaller pocket profile than a bug out. Um, about the same thickness. It's it's not as wide, um, and it just overall, it's a uh, a better pocket profile. So this this is kind of a carry knife. Uh, I would imagine that's that's what it was designed to be, just for how thin it is. Um, like a lot of people say, you know, zero tolerance made their name off tough tank knives. Um, 
you know, their boxes used to say, uh, built like a tank. Um, they don't say that anymore, but I've heard some people call this the one, the one knife. Um, but real quick about the pocket clip and then we'll wrap up here. So this pocket clip is reversible. Um, normally it comes on this side, obviously on your right side. Um, the way I did it, I took these three screws out and I undid the pivot screw. You need two T8 Torxes to get the pivot screw done. It's not captured. Then I took the whole scale off here and, and there's a little partial liner in there. You can kind of see, um, but there's that little partial liner and that's where this screw comes from. And these screws are different sizes. So uh, these two are the same size, but this one is smaller because it just goes into the liner there. I took it off and the my backspacer here fell out. So I do not know which way it was facing. On the backspacer, there is, there's an end that it's kind of got, I'm gonna draw it for you. So here's your backspacer. And then one ends. Okay, so here's your backspacer. And it's horribly drawn, but you can kind of see the idea. One end is pretty much flat. Um, and the other end, we'll call it kind of like a nipple sticking out. And that's kind of exaggerated. But it's got a, it's sticking out like a little bit of the inner cylinder there. Just, just how it's drawn here. The other side's flat. This has the small shaft. Um, I would imagine originally the side with a little bit sticking out was facing this way. It was facing towards the carbon fiber. And the flat side was pushing against the clip on this side because the clip was on this side. So when I took it out and I put the clip on this side now, I took the backspacer and uh, originally it was facing this way, okay? The backspacer was facing this way um, and the flat part was pushing against the clip on that side. When I flipped the clip, I also flipped the backspacer so now the nipple end is facing this way and it pushes into the small hole that the backspacer left and then the flat end pushes against the backspacer. Now it is fairly difficult to get back together I found um, to get everything to line up because that kind of wants to float around. So what I did was I put the screw because it's one long screw. You can see it comes apart. I lied. I said these two are the same size. That is not true. All three screws are different. This one's very long and goes all the way through the other side. This one is a uh, small screw because there's one on this side and one on the other side. This one only has one screw. And then this one is very small. So, you know, just kind of leave them in order. You'll see what goes where. But I took this long screw and I fed it through here and I put the backspacer on it. And that's kind of how I reassembled it. I kind of lined that up and then put this rest in, put the rest over here in. Like I said, it, it wasn't that, e it wasn't terribly hard once I realized which way this backspacer needs to go but there's no videos actually showing that and when you take it apart the backspacer kind of falls so you don't know which way it was if you knew which way it was you either you could tell either i have to flip it or i don't but when you reinstall it if you flip the clip this is the orientation that backspacer will need to go with the nippled end pointing to the right to the titanium side and it will go in this small hole left by the pocket clip where the pocket clip was. Then the flat side will go against the carbon fiber and that's why I fed that through. Um, so I hope that's a decent explanation. Um, I could do it on camera, but I think that explanation kind of, that's the only catch up is which way does this backspacer face. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward. You just take these screws out you pull it out, this backspacer will fall free. You take your pocket clip from this side, flip it over, put it on that side. Um, so pretty straightforward there. If you have any questions as far as that goes, leave a comment and as soon as I see it, I'll reply to your uh, questions there. Um, or if you really wanna see this done in a video, leave that comment. Um, but yeah, so that's the 707, cool little knife. Um, not a not a tank by any means um it's kind of a good gentleman's edc knife not going to do a ton of hard work but not flimsy at the same time so yeah 
This is 707. I've got the 470 coming soon. I did overnight shipping just because I had a credit. <laughs> um, yeah, so be looking for that review coming soon. And I appreciate y'all watching. Have a great day.